What's up, Bobcat fans? I'm WRB reporter Dylan Thompson, and on this Sunday afternoon, the Bobcats were feeling the football love, scoring a touchdown and an extra point. Ohio improved to 5-0 and with the blowout victory, but it wasn't always easy. Early on, the Bobcats were missing the target or getting denied by the Salukis. Ohio gets on the board with this strike from Tristan Whalen. Tristan Whalen! Into the second half, and it's Heather McGuire finding the back of the net. You know, I saw there was three of us running in, and I knew like either one of us could have it, and I saw the opportunity, I called for it, shot as hard as I could, and as soon as it went in, it was just a sign of relief. Knew I was going in, so happy to help them accomplish it all together as a team. McGuire would strike again to put Ohio up 3-0. to zero. <laughs> Then, it's Olivia Page getting on the score sheet. First half, we didn't really have enough energy. We were kind of slacking, just like taking it easy. But after the halftime talk, we knew we needed to bring the energy in and get bring high intensity. So we all came out there and we brought it. With the final three goals of the game for Ohio, it's Maddie Young, then Const Constantina Janelle, and Paige Papanastos to give Ohio an emphatic victory. Coach Aaron Rodgers knows there is more to work for. We have to know that, that we're working towards the conference and we're working towards our ultimate goal of winning a MAC championship, winning a MAC tournament championship, and so we can't ever uh, fall back. We've got to stay moving forward. The Bobcats are looking to remain perfect on the season when on Friday they take on Robert Morris right here on Chesapeake.